hello friends in this video i will show you how to create a view which looks like this and this has to be done programmatically in sketchware so let's start for creating a view like this we have to create a view programmatically so in order to create a view programmatically we have to define it as a new class here i have defined progress view as a new class of type view so we have to define a new class we can name it anything here I have named it as progress view now here I have created a more block called codes and in this more block I'll first close this method codes and after that I will create a new class called progress view now inside this progress view we must have a constructor and we must have an on draw method to draw it so this is the constructor the constructor for progress view contains it is defined as public progress view context so we can create it simply by writing new progress view main activity dot this or new progress view this and we have to close this construct also so this will act as constructor next we need the on draw canvas method so for this i will just put this code at override protected void on draw canvas this will be the on draw canvas method and here i will just close this using this curly bracket so here this is the on draw method and this is the constructor now in order to create a view which i just showed you we need to draw two rectangles and for drawing the two rectangles we need two different colors so that's why i have defined these two different colors i have declared these two different colors bar color and progress color and to for the progress i have defined an int called progress and i have set it to zero initially and we need a paint to draw these things to draw the two rectangle that is so here i have declared a paint called my paint so i will just copy these and paste all these declarations outside the constructor so that it can be used anywhere in this class anywhere in this class called progress view so now we have a bar color a progress color progress and my paint these have been declared now in the constructor we have to define these so here i will just define bar color let the bar color it will be the color of outer rectangle so let it be color dot green and similarly we have to define the progress color progress and my paint so i will just copy these these will be the initial parameters which using which the constructor will create the view now here i do not need this bar color because i have already defined it as green and the progress color let it be red progress let it be zero so this is the initial setup 
now we have to draw the view on a canvas to draw the view on the canvas we have to draw two rectangles using the paint and we need to get the view so here I will define we need to get the width of the view so here I will define int view width is equal to this this means the context and then we can write get measured width So this will be the view width I'll just add it here in the canvas next we have to set the progress now let the progress be static at 200 and after that I will use the paint to draw the two rectangles this is for drawing the outer rectangle and the second one is for drawing the inner rectangle So here this first I have set the set style style of my paint as stroke and I have set its color as bar color which is for the outer rectangle and I have drawn the outer rectangle by writing canvas dot draw rect 0 which is the left border then again 0 which is top border then the right border is equal to the width of the view here I have defined view width as this dot get measured width so this is the right border is at width of the view and then the height the lower border is at 30 the top border is at 0 and lower border bottom border is at 30 so this will be the height of the bar and then I have used the paint my paint to draw this rectangle next is the inner rectangle for inner rectangle I have set the style type as fill and I have set the color as progress color now here in constructor I have already set bar color as green and progress color as red so this will use red color and then I have drawn the rectangle by setting the initial border means left border at progress which is equal to 200 so left border will be at 200 then the top border will be at 5 here the top border is at 0 and this is at 5 means this will be little inside the outer rectangle then the right border is at progress plus 120 means the width of this rectangle will be 120 and the bottom border is 25 here for the outer rectangle bottom border is at 30 so in this case it will be a little inside the outer rectangle and then my paint is used to draw this rectangle so this will draw a static progress bar I will just show you how to use this in schedule since I have already put this closing curly bracket we do not need this last closing curly bracket So I'll just remove this. And save this. Now I will use the constructor in onCreate to create a new progress view by writing progress view. Let its name be PV is equal to new progress view this this is 
this means context and after that I will add this view to the linear linear two dot add view and then name of the view which is pv here you can see this is linear 3 so I'll just change this to linear 3 dot add view pv now let's check this Okay, here you can see that we have a static progress view without a rectangle green color and in a rectangle red color with width 120. Now I will show you how to make it moving and how to add other methods to it. So now we have progress at 200 and suppose we want to redraw it again and again then in that case we just have to write invalidate in the on draw method so in this on draw method which starts here I'll just write invalidate at the end invalidate so this will draw it again and again now in order to make it move again means once it draws it again we need a different progress like the progress should be uh, something added to the previous progress so let it be progress equal to progress plus 10 and once the progress reaches the view width we will set it back to zero so here I will write if progress is more than view width if progress is more than view width then progress is equal to zero then this closing curly bracket after that else else progress is equal to progress plus 10 and now when drawing the inner rectangle while drawing the inner rectangle the left border here is the left border will be equal to progress so each time the progress is changing so the left border will be a different position and the right border will be progress plus 120 means the width will always remain 120 and we will let rest of the things be same now let's check this so here we have a moving progress bar and now we can add some methods to it like if you want to change the color the bar color or the progress color we can add following methods outside the on draw method like public void on you can write public void set bar color and public void set progress color we can use this methods in our codes if we set this method so here I have set the method public void set bar color int new color 
and then I have set this bar color which is used in the view in drawing the outer rectangle so I have set it as new color so if I write the view dot set bar color and in bracket I write some color then that will be set as the new bar color and after that I have used invalidate invalidate means it will draw the view again and then I have used request layout similarly for the inner rectangle I have used this method public white set bar color int new color progress color is equal to new color then again invalidate means draw the circle again and then request layout and I need a closing curly bracket for this so these are the two methods which can be used so I will use this method now let's use set bar color now I will go back to on create event and here I will after creating the view I will write pv dot set bar color and here I will write some color like color dot red and I can also set the progress color by writing pv dot set progress color and I will set this as color dot yellow now let's check this again so here now we have a progress bar with outer rectangle red and inner rectangle yellow we can also add other methods like get color get bar color get progress color or get progress set progress to this that's all in this video i hope it was useful thank you very much for watching this